Welcome to Tradeify. In this video, we'll guide you through understanding and setting up tax settings in Tradeify. Tax rates are used to calculate sales and purchase taxes on invoices, quotes, purchase orders, and bills. If you have your tax setting configured incorrectly and begin adding document themes, customer details, or integrating your accounting software, these incorrect tax settings will be applied and as a result will need to be manually updated individually. Which is why configuring these early and correctly in your Tradeify file ensures accurate record keeping and sets you up for success. In most cases, you'll only need one tax rate for each option. However, if your country or tax jurisdiction requires multiple tax rates when invoicing, you do have the option to add additional tax rates to accommodate this in Tradeify. However, Tradeify doesn't have the ability to group multiple tax rates into one document. First, let's head to the tax settings. From your Tradeify dashboard, go to the settings menu in the left-hand navigation. In the settings menu, select tax. This is where you can manage all of your tax rates and the default tax settings. On the tax rates page, you'll see a list of tax rates that Tradeify automatically populate. These will vary depending on your region. Edit the existing tax rate by clicking the name or to add a new tax rate, click the new tax rate button. A new window will pop up and here you'll need to enter the display name and the tax rate percentage. The display name is a label that will help you identify this specific tax. The tax rate percentage is the rate that will be applied to your transactions. For example, if you're setting up a GST at 15%, you'd enter GST as the tax name and 15 as the percentage. Once you've entered this information, click Save. Your new tax rate will now appear in the list of tax rates. Delete a tax rate by clicking the X icon next to the tax rate name. Please note, tax rates cannot be deleted if they've already been used or if it's assigned as a default tax rate on any billing rate or price list items. In this case, we recommend using the archive feature. Archiving a tax rate will remove it from being used or seen throughout Tradeify. You'll still have visibility of it within your settings and also within historical records, but it won't be shown as an option anywhere else. To archive an existing tax rate, edit it by clicking on the tax rate name and toggle the archive this tax rate, then hit save. Now let's look at your default tax settings. There are five key tax settings that you'll want to configure after setting up your tax rates. Your default tax rate, this is the default tax rate used for new price list items, billing rates, and miscellaneous costs. When adding a new price list item, you can choose whether it has tax applied or not. When applying tax, this is the default rate that will be applied. Your default no tax rate. This is used as the default no tax rate for new price list items, billing rates, and miscellaneous costs. When you add a new price list item with the no tax option applied, this is the default rate applied. The sales tax default acts as the master tax setting for any new customers. When creating new invoices for your customers, this is the default rate of tax that will be applied. If any customers were created before updating these settings, the settings must be updated in their customer profile to reflect the new tax rate. Your purchase tax default is the default tax rate that will be applied to new suppliers, purchase orders, and bills that you create. If you've added any suppliers before updating these settings, you'll need to update their profile to reflect the new tax rate. Tax calculation method. This determines whether your tax is calculated on each line item or on the whole document for invoices and quotes. If you have an accounting software integrated, it's important to match the settings within your accounting software. Most accounting softwares calculate based on line items. However, it's important to confirm this before setting a default. If you have an accounting software integrated and the incorrect calculation method is assigned, you may have issues when trying to send the data from Tradeify. 
Now let's look at how to apply these tax rates to your invoices and quotes. When creating or editing an invoice or quote, you'll see a tax rate drop-down menu. Select the appropriate tax rate from this menu to apply it to the entire document. If you need to apply different tax rates to individual line items within an invoice or quote, simply click on the tax rate column for each line item and select the appropriate tax rate. To ensure accurate reporting, it's crucial to apply the correct tax rates to your transactions. Tradeify will automatically calculate the tax amounts based on the rates that you've set up. This is why it's important to configure these settings correctly. If you have any questions, visit our Help Center, give us a shout, or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you soon.